fact is that children actually owns the whole estate. But because you're still a child, he says, listen to this, you are subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. So also when you were children, we were in slavery under the basic principles of the world. But when the time had fully come, I want you to say this, when the time had fully come, amen, God sent his son born of a woman, not born under the law, okay, born of a woman, born, well, under the law to fulfill the law, but born of a woman, okay, to redeem those under the law. Can you see that? God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive the full rights of sons. The full rights of sons. You see, now we can receive our inheritance because sons can receive the inheritance right now. Now it says, so you are no longer a slave but a son. And since you are a son, God has made you also an heir. So God wants you to have the inheritance right now. See, brothers and sisters, friends, neighbor. You know what religion has taught the church? Religion says one day, somewhere, one day, you know, you will receive your inheritance. Listen, when my Jesus Christ returns and we're going to be with Him, we don't need an inheritance. Because when perfection comes, imperfection disappears. We need our inheritance right now to rule and reign and to live a life of dominion. Hallelujah. Do you understand what I'm saying? God wants you to dominate your circumstances, but you cannot dominate your circumstances if you are not, if you're not living out of your inheritance, which is a dominion mandate. But that dominion only sons of God can enforce in the earth. Now I want to draw your attention again to a picture. Uh, let's just go back. I'm going to put it on the screen there. Can you see that Moses' tabernacle? Many people are owning that out of court. God wants you to go into that tent, which is the inner court with the first orange kind of stripe. That's your holy place. That's when you get war. That's when you are baptized with the Holy Ghost. See, in the outer court, before that little building, the tent, you are water baptized, which is very natural man doing water baptism. But when you come out of the outer court, the outer court is a way into the holy place. That's when Jesus becomes the baptizer and no man baptizes you then. But Jesus Christ baptizes you with the Holy Spirit. Did you get all that? Now, listen to this. Somebody said to me, but tell me, why is it, preacher, why do you actually teach so much on the kingdom? Why did you actually write a book on the kingdom of God. Somebody asked me, what is it? What is it that drives you? Why do you want the kingdom into the lives of people? I'm going to give you three quick reasons. Number one, I want you to partake in the first resurrection. You read Revelation. And Revelation... 20. In fact, I'm going to turn there right now. You know, I've planned to go with this teaching one way, but now the Holy Ghost is just redirecting things differently. So uh, I'm turning to Revelation, and I want you to go or write it down. Oh, Revelation 20. Listen to this. Verse 5. Are, are you ready? The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Revelation 20 verse 5. First resurrection. Blessed and holy are those who have part in the first resurrection. 
the second death has no power over them, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign. There it is, with Him for a thousand years. You see, beloved, what people don't understand is this. That the first resurrection are for the sons and daughters. Those who are filled in with the Holy Spirit, don't get cross now with the preacher. Don't get cross with the preacher. Because you cannot be a son in the kingdom unless you are led by the Holy Spirit. Oh, I feel like I'm, you know, something is drawing so many scriptures out of me. I didn't plan to say all this. But in Romans, Romans, go with me to Romans. I like to back up everything with a scripture, okay? In Romans 8, it says, verse 14, Because those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. You see, you have to understand something. That sons and daughters are led by the Holy Spirit. Think about that. Jesus... Jesus was a son of God, and he is the son of God, okay? Now, Jesus, in Luke 4, verse 1, he was led by the Holy Spirit. Don't you think that since Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit, that you and I need to be led by the Holy Spirit? Jesus is the son of God, and he was led by the Holy Spirit. How much more you and I, if Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit, how much more you and I, we need to be led by the Holy Spirit and not by a set of church rules, set of traditions. Listen to this. The first reason why you need to tap into these kingdom teachings and start living it I want you to partake of that first resurrection. Why must you wait another thousand years to be raised up from the dead if you are not, you know, if you have died already? Together with the unbelievers, why not partake of that very first resurrection? Secondly, if I can get you into that holy place, out of that outer court, I'm going to put on your monitor. See that outer court? See where that outer court where they sacrifice the animals in front of that little building which is the tent? If I can get you out of that outer court and get you into that first stripe on that tent which is the holy place, that means you're going to be baptized with the Holy Spirit, be filled in, and you will begin to be led by the Spirit of God as a true son and a daughter of God. In the outer court, you're only a child, only children. And children do not qualify for their inheritance right now. How many of you want to live up to the full capacity and full potential that God has placed within you? Come on. I want to. How about you? For us to live at our full potential, I'm talking about spiritual potential that you bring into a natural world. And you begin to live a life through a conquering mentality, through a commanding composure of not accepting anything less than the best for your life. You need the power of the Holy Ghost even to cast out devils. 